you brought one of your favorite images here yeah. to the show. We have it. All, can we put it up on the wall, please, Jim? What are we looking at? This is a beautiful photograph. So it's a photograph from the James Webb Space Telescope. And it's a tiny piece of sky that's much smaller than a full moon. So you imagine this photograph with a tiny piece of sky. A few arc seconds of the moon. Yeah, just tiny. And in there, almost everything, apart from that, you can see a star-like object at the top, which is a star in the Milky Way galaxy, because we're looking out through the galaxy to the distant universe. But everything else in that photograph is a galaxy. So, so all those things are roughly the size of the Milky Way with the 400 billion suns. There are something like 10,000 galaxies in that single image. So it's, it, I think it's a humbling and beautiful and terrifying, actually. Why image. terrifying? I mean, one of the things I say in my live show at the start is the thing that occurs to you when you think about images like that is what does it mean to live a, a finite, fragile life in an infinite, eternal universe? And I immediately say, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows the answer to that question. Imagine that we're the only civilization currently in the Milky Way galaxy, which is a guess, but it's a possibility. I would argue that that word meaning what would it mean? Whatever it is, it exists clearly. The, the universe means something to us. But I would argue it's a property of the mind, human brains, complex biology. So that implies that maybe the Earth is special, very special, notwithstanding its physical insignificance, because it could be the only island of meaning in a galaxy of 400 billion suns currently. So there's a clash of ideas where when, you, when you talk about cosmology. There's the, there's the physical insignificance, as you see there, 10,000 galaxies in a single patch of sky. But there's also this, this remarkable fact that collections of atoms like us exist on a world like the Earth. Carl Sagan said, you know, like one of my great heroes said, a physicist is a hydrogen atom's way of learning about hydrogen atoms. That, that when you put it like that, it is a remarkable thing to be a human being. Well, Professor, thank you so much for being here. Oh, Always you. lovely to 